Hello everybody, today I would like to show you how to identify blade number one on the Airbus CFM56 engine. So let's take a look at it. Here we have a fan of the CFM56, but if we take a closer look on the blades, there is nothing, no information, they're clean. So we need to focus on the cones. Front one, we can forget about that one. There is nothing. But on the rear one, we can find this little dot. This dot represent blade number one. This is our blade. So this way, you know where the blade number one is. But I would like to show you how to identify blade number one when we remove these two cones. So let's take a look. Both cones are out and we again looking for some markings. And the uh, one which is really recognizable is here. This little dot is uh, basically the same one like on the rear spinner. but. There is something more to show you. Above this dot, of course, is a blade number one. But next to this blade, you can find small digit number one. And next on the other side, you have again engraved one. Okay, that's our blade number one. But how we know which way we need to install the rest of the blades? Well, again, we have very nice help. Here, we just go to blade number five. One, two, three, four, five. And again, next to the base of the blade, you can see nicely engraved number five. And on the other side, again number five so now you know that this blade is number five so you go one two three four five here you can see front cone and the rear cone and as i mentioned before here you have that small little dot which represents blade number one you have one like that on the front face this one we're gonna match with one on the front cone as well so you know exactly on which position it need to be installed on the rear spinner cone and of course where to install rear spinner on the fan disc why we need to know position of the blades in the first place well uh, answer is quite simple each blade have a slightly different weight and if we place blades on the disc uh, randomly it can end up uh, with the small engine vibrations or with the complete destruction of the engine due to vibrations. And for that we need to know exact position of each blade. Of course we will not be able to balance the disc only with the blades. So for that reason we have installed the balancing screws on the rear cone and uh, if we have uh, vibrations on the engine due to damage or rework of the blade we can swap this bolt with the one which have a higher weight or lower weight depends on the requirements this is called fun trim balancing but about it i will tell you maybe next time this is all what i want to tell you guys about this topic uh thank you for your time my name is tomas this was aircraft maintenance with zetor and i'll see you next one Bye. You can see the riding on the pavement. Your kids, they're